با سلام و خوش آمد به همه شما عزیزان بیننده شوی تلویزیونی آر ویو در تلویزیون اندیشه هنوز در حالا هوای بهاری و نوروز هستیم همچنان سال نو رو خدمت همه شما عزیزان بیننده وابسته ها خانواده و دوستان عزیزتون تبریک و تهنیت عرض می کنم از طرف خودم و همه همکارانم در شبکه جهانی اندیشه امیدوار هستیم که سال بسیار خوب و خوشی رو آغاز کرده باشید و انشالله که به سلامتی و خوشی هم امسال پیش بره در حال هوای برنامه های آرویو هستیم با شما و مهمانانی که این هفته لطف کردن دعوت برنامه رو پذیرفتن و در کنارشون خواهیم بود تا یک برنامه دیگه ای رو به شما عزیزان علاقه مند ارائه بکنیم و اما یادآور میشم که برنامه ها همچنان روی سوشال میدیا، اینستاگرام، فیسبوک و همچنین روی کانال یوتیوب سوزی خاتمی گذاشته خواهد شد که اگر مایل باشید میتونید همچنان که نگاه میکنید با عزیزان و دوستان خودتون هم به اشتراک بگذارید ازتون ممنون و سپاسگزار میشم و برنامه رو آغاز میکنیم با دو مهمان عزیز که خانم ویدا قفاری هستن که ایشون هنرپیشه، نویسنده و جورنالیست هستن با نام و چهره عزیز ویدا جون مطمئنا آشنا هستید که در گذشته هم در همین برنامه ازشون دعوت داشتیم و خوشحالم بگم که بعضی اوقات به عنوان مهمان و بعضی اوقات هم به عنوان کوهست دعوت برنامه رو میپذیرن و من هم بسیار از این بابت خوشحال هستم ویدا جون متولد و بزرگ شده آمریکا هست زبان شیرین فارسی رو هم تا حدی میتونه صحبت کنه ولی خب به هر حال مثل بیشتر بچه های جوونی که در آمریکا متولد هستن زبان اصلیش انگلیسی هست و مهمانی هم که به برنامه دعوت کردیم به زبان انگلیسی با ما صحبت میکنن غیر ایرانی هستن ولی ما بین صحبتمون من مطمئن خواهم بود که یک مقداری هم به فارسی برای شما علاقه مندان ترجمه بکنیم گوین که مطمئن هستم بیشتر شما با زبان انگلیسی آشنا هستید و بهتر از من اون رو میشناسید و متوجه میشید و ما بیشتر از این انتظار نکشیم و مهمانان عزیزمون رو به شما معرفی بکنیم و سویچ میکنیم به زبان انگلیسی بیشتر. Thank you for being on the show and waiting patiently for me to do my uh, usual introduction. Vidajan, it's always great to see you. With wishing you happy Nowruz yes. uh, to you and your loved ones and your family. Merci, uh, Suzy Jun, uh, Nowruz Piruz. Salam binandagan aziz. Khali eftekhar mi konam ke rur barname Suzy Jun Nazinin emruz basham. Salu nor khali tabrik midam. And I can speak in English now. It's an extreme honor Please to be on sure. your show. Thank I really you. enjoy it. You're such a great host and you're such a great build, bridge builder in our community and it's Thank truly you. an honor and happy Nowruz to our you know esteemed viewers and it's such an honor to have our amazing guest here and I'll let Absolutely. you do the intro. Yes we can't wait to introduce to you our guest the first time he appears on our studio and I'm very pleased to introduce him to you. I want to make sure I pronounce his name right, Saul Mejia. Uh, who is the president of the Panorama City Chamber of Commerce, uh, amongst other things he does, which we will talk about throughout the interview. But I guess that's enough to start the show and introduction. Very welcome to the show, sir. Well, thank you so much for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here. First time, you know, in this studio and the first time in your channel. So it's exciting for me. Thank you. Likewise, uh, especially because that you also, uh, my colleagues, I can call you because yes. you do the same thing. You are a, a TV and a radio host and producer. And uh, so I'm comfortable talking to someone who does everything. the same job. Yes. 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 So how do you like our studio and how do you... It's like beautiful. I really like the lighting. I like the microphones. I like the part that you have over there with the mixer and the whole deal. You're too fancy for me. This is oh, oh my this goodness. Is That's good to hear. Thank you so much. Uh, pleasure having you. So um, let's start with giving a little background from you, if you don't mind, uh, because Vida Jun has been on the show. I've had the pleasure of having Vida sometimes as a co-host, helping me out with our number of guests uh, that come here, actors, actresses from Hollywood scene, since she is also an actress and quite an active one and a famous one Thank in the Hollywood you, scene. Thank you, dears. Thank you. And she helps me out with that. And she's really a great friend, a great personality that I'm happy to work with throughout many, many years, I must say that I've had a chance and a pleasure of getting to know Vida Jun, whether on my radio shows or on my TV. She's always been there and helping out. Uh, very active. Of course, she's very young, and so she oh, should be. Oh, thank you. Um, You're and so she's sweet. also a great journalist and a great writer. And um, she's the reason that I really got to know you and uh, vice versa, and the fact that you're here today. 
absolutely. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Bita. Actually, she's everywhere. If you go to any red carpets in Hollywood, somewhere in the building, she, yes. there's Bita somewhere. But and we that's officially what connected last summer. Uh, I we think finally so. was the first time we yes. actually met face to face. Yes. But uh, it's been about ten years that. Uh, We've that's, known that, of each other. That, yes, that's hilarious. That's how we end up. We end up in the same red carpet, and then I see the pictures, I and see. hey, I've seen that lady before, but we never got to a point where we actually say, hey, by the way, my name is. We uh, we actually been following each other on Facebook, I believe, for about the same time. I think and so, finally, yeah. last year, we had the opportunity to. Um, they were given an award to a mutual friend of ours, to someone mm -hmm. that we knew. So we end up in the again in the same place, and we and right in the valley, of course, right here in the Central Valley. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, now um, tell us a little background about you, Saul, so my viewers who see you for the first time on the show get to know you and your background. I obviously briefly did mention what your post and position is right now, being a president of the Chamber of Commerce of City of Panorama, uh, and also that you are a colleague of mine. But tell us a little bit more, because I have I know reading your bio that you've done plenty more from a very <laughs> early age on. Yes. So yes, what have you been up to? And tell us, you were born and raised here in Los Angeles, right? My Sierra whole Angelina? life is, be, is been here, and yes. it's actually the San Fernando Valley. Uh, I did uh, uh, middle school, uh, I did middle school, high school while I was in the valley. I attended Sepulveda Middle School, then I went to Monroe High School. And then after that, uh, while I was in Monroe High School, actually I was in the ROTC program. Nice. So through that I spent four years uh, learning stuff about the military, and they do it pretty quick. So by my second year I already had my own classroom and I was giving leadership classes. My nice. goodness, at that young age you taught the leadership classes? Correct. Oh we were goodness, teaching leadership amazing. classes and training. And by the time I graduated from high school, I graduated with 180 awards. Love and, it. Including a one genius as, we have here. Yeah, with boy us. genius. No, I said it in public before, and I don't even brag about that. One of the things that I actually I do praise myself about is that I'm not lazy. But no, you're I was, not. But definitely you're I was go -getter. not. But I was not smart. I was definitely not smart. I was not a good student. I usually had like C's and D's. The you average, don't have to say that. <laughs> well, no, no, no. But I have pride in it because, like I was saying, I actually did have C's and D's, but they were really earned. I actually worked hard to get those. And a lot of times people think it's because you're lazy. And no, I want the students also out there that maybe they're not doing so great, but they're doing their best. Simply do your very best, work hard, and that's what should be expected from you. You know, you're not to be something that you're not. So my teachers actually used to love me. The principal actually ended up giving me a recommendation letter, and so did my counselor, because they were really proud of the work that we did. We used to uh, mm -hmm. take care of seniors after school. We used to do cleanups. Nice. We used to do marathons to collect money you know, for the homeless. We were very active in the community, and at the same time, we used to work at the school. I was in the school leadership. I was one of the people you know, who used right. to advise the principal on the issues and problems that we had within the school. So that was my early years where we started in high school. After that in fact because I didn't have such a great grades some of the people I'm not gonna say names but some of the people in within the school say you know what you shouldn't even bother to go to college you should just get oh. a job at McDonald's or something and you know you know try to the best that you can or whatever you can sadly I did listen for the first year I didn't go to college and immediately simply I got a job in a music store and that's where my music life began I but I got a job in a music store but after a while I mean within the same year I realized that yes we're, I wasn't gonna go much farther mm. if I didn't have some kind of background some kind of education sure so I did go back to college I went Good to college I went, I went back to school and I studied business administration computers in French mm. so um, at so least wow. so uh, yeah. so when I start applying for a jobs it's not the same if you say I speak three languages I know of computers course. and I know management you wouldn't be getting just any job yeah. so I start getting shift later and I end up working for even bigger companies such as Sears Macy's and I end up being a district manager in a couple of those stores nice. so I mean companies I should say that I used to have up to 13 stores mm -hmm. so I used to work on that and then I met the people from my neighborhood council in my community and they say maybe you should play politics you know maybe you should run for office and I laugh obviously like most people would and the first time somebody says that and so I joined our neighborhood council and I became the commerce chair and for 10 years I was the commerce chair within our community uh, through the city of Los Angeles giving classes people management classes and how to apply for jobs the basics Good for at the you. so you're very active within the community yes I want to interrupt you here because what you're saying is very important mm -hmm. I don't want to quickly go over it because I always want to give out some messages throughout our interviews for people who really listen and they can always learn we always learn at any age but I think it's important for our young people to listen to what as Saul is saying right now 
being a younger, uh, you know, adult, um, being told by his teachers, even at the high school level, whatever, that you don't really need to go to college uh, with, the, with like the grades that you've had, and basically some kind of a discouragement. And that still didn't stop so. No, so it didn't that shows you. that if you really have a determination and a right goal, and you have a you know, good thinking and a good head on your shoulder, mm -hmm. basically, is what I'm trying to say, is that um, the sky basically is the limit and you can get anywhere you want to and you should. So these are, even though he's going very lightly and quickly over what he did and what he has accomplished. But we're talking about but decades. Really, <laughs> no, but seriously. But, but it affects a person to today. Yeah, it's, your, it's like your foundation of your house. And I think how cruel of them to say that because you didn't have time to study because you're so busy doing stuff for the school and the community. Exactly. So that's like you were, it's like almost more work than homework. So, you know, they should cut you some slack because you were taking all that time and energy and focusing it on the school and leadership. So, you know, shame on them. <laughs> yes, so that means really you should listen to your heart and go after what you believe you can accomplish because no matter what other people may look at you and um, uh, you know think or oh, whether he or she can only do this much you're the one who believe in yourself and know what you can do and you should go after your dreams and that's why Saul got where he got and mm -hmm. that's very important sorry for an interruption no 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 yeah. see, I'm, I, I'm, I glad that you, I'm glad that you explained it in that, that specific way because precisely that's the reason why I bring up what I said exactly. a lot of people say no you should you should just leave that out of the picture no it was a reality I it happened and yeah. I want anybody any other kid that is out there right now going through something similar to say look I, I'm trying my best but maybe that's not good enough and maybe I shouldn't no that's not the message we want to send we want to continue for them to say exactly you know what I'll do my very best and I'll never stop and I always tell people there's only three things you need to succeed in life be humble be willing to learn and be willing to share Bravo. if you got those three things you can accomplish anything there's absolutely no limit of what you can accomplish if you can actually focus on those three you don't have to be the smartest you don't have to be a PhD you don't have to really have much as long as you have a heart to serve and to help others and trust me those people everything that you plan that's what you get back totally. so you take care of other people and those people will take care of you that has been my experience people have opened up a lot of doors because we help them from scratch. We Absolutely. help them from the beginning to rise and that's what we continue to do now as the chamber. We help the small business to become a medium business and eventually a corporate and when they grow they go back and say hey Saul do you need you know you still need some cookies or maybe I'll bring you some coffee. They bought me the refrigerator from my office. They they continue to collaborate and to work in everything that we do and that has been for me from the beginning from the get-go that has been what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's just about helping other people. By the age of 28 I already had accomplished everything that I wanted. There we go. Oh, and nice. after the, and by, That's very important. So after that, what I wanted to do is to share that with the other people. Whoever comes behind you, you know, there's other people who never had a chance to be in a red carpet. There's mm. other people who never had the opportunity to actually have a shot of what their dream was. And mm -hmm. if we have the connection, so if we have the means to actually make their dream come true, I'm the guy who's going to connect them. And all I ask them is to have those three again. Be humble. Be willing to share and be willing to learn, you know, and we can do a lot. But even if you're missing just one of those three, you're not going to make it. I don't care mm -hmm. what, how much you study. I don't care how hard you try. Nobody likes nobody likes an arrogant person. Nobody likes someone no, who's uptight. Someone who's, you know, he simply doesn't have a personality. It's not going to work, no matter yeah. how much you try it. And that's why there's so many people, even in Hollywood, I'm sure you guys know, that they try so hard and eventually you wonder what happened. How come you never made it to, to the top? Mm -hmm. Well, you'll find exactly along the way that is that. That they're focusing on themselves. They have such a large ego. They want to make it about themselves. And nothing is about yourself. It's about the other people that, you, that you're serving, the people that you're helping, you know. And if you just continue to help others, my, my, my experience, that has been the case. That's so everything excellent. that we do, whether it's the chamber, whether it was all the way from the beginning, when I was at work, it was always. Even when I used to work in retail stores, for me, it was about serving our clients. The way that I dress, the way that I behave everything that I did, my lifestyle, I, want, I wanted to make sure that they feel comfortable, that they're talking to the right salesperson. Right. I didn't smoke, I didn't do drugs, I didn't do a lot of stuff because I care about my clients. Right. And people used to think I'm crazy. You, you, you care about what your client think? Yes, they consume but from me. that's why, again, that's you know? another sign of success. Yes. Because you care about other people and it shows, it comes across very, very clearly. Very genuine. That, that is your love, that is your passion, and these are all the right and correct ingredients to have in order to be successful and in order to reach where you want to be and to reach your goals, basically. Um, when you're young, uh, if we do have a goal, we can always accomplish it by 
paying attention and focusing to what it needs to be done and needs to have happened. So on that note, um, you were telling us so about the becoming a president since 2016, if I'm not mistaken, right. um, and rebuilding that uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, once again uh, that it used to exist, but then for some reason it went to you know a different route, and then you brought it back to where it is at well, the Panorama uh, Chamber of Commerce. Tell us about it. They're really going to hate what me for, for what I'm about to say, but you so know, say it we, we, like, we, we, well, we like to throw a little bit of controversy. But yeah, actually, what happens? Um, uh, we have a company, our company is called Global Tech Corp. And, and we you're do, the president of that. Correct. And mm -hmm. we do web design, graphic design, anything related to online. And the first thing I wanted to do, because I knew it was the right thing to do, it was to join a chamber. And I went into some of the chamber's web pages, and they look like if you're in 1998. I'm yes. not going to say names, but it's time. Please update your web page. Use social media. They were not using YouTube. They were not using Facebook. Wow. They were not using Instagram. A lot of chambers still don't. And my business was an internet business. So for me, it was almost an insult to put my logo into your chamber's you know, uh, uh, web page. <laughs> People are going to say, uh, does, why, why don't you guys go help them? You know, Why don't you guys oh. do something? And unfortunately, out of the chambers, they're still old-fashioned. They're still very uptight about not really getting up to date. So we felt yeah. like this is not going to help us. So the first chamber we actually ended up joining in was the Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce. A lot oh. of people don't know, but there's I an see. online chamber, and they got Microsoft, they got Yahoo, they got Google, they got all the major corporations that are online. They actually So they have their own massive chamber with, uh, I think it's 3,800 members wow. that they have now. Mm, so they're you. quite powerful, quite serious, it, but it, it also writes up the question, like I was mentioning before, I was with the city of LA before, and for 10 years I was the commerce chair, uh, the chair for the committee, mm -hmm. and we felt that it was time to bring back a chamber to our community, and we said, you know what, maybe we should open a new chamber and try to challenge the other chambers to really get up to date. Show them, you look one, just be quiet, <laughs> do it yourself, and hopefully they'll follow. So the first thing we did, we actually spent quite a bit of money, because that's what we do as a company. We were the first company to actually donate the web page for the chamber. So our chamber, the first oh, thing nice. we did that we're very proud of is that we had a very up-to-date cham um, nice. chamber's like web page. No, it's already outdated. This year, actually, we're going to update it. We're happy. Mm. We're working on that. Good but thing. yes, but actually, yes, we, every two years, I think we can actually update it and do more. Uh, we open a How whole many members do you have? Well, it depends on who asks, because if it's the United Chambers, they'll charge me more if I really say the truth. Oh, so, no. Uh, no, I'm kidding. No, we got about uh -huh. 150 members, but yes, actually, some of the other institutions, when you have more than 100, they charge you more. So, uh, uh, sometimes we gotta say 100. So just so anyhow. So um so yeah, we decided that it was time to build it up, and we already knew a lot of the uh, businesses. We really are a very community oriented business. Uh, um, a chamber, excuse me. Uh, as an example, the guy who owns the local Boost Mobile stores in the area, he sold me my first pager when I was in middle school. Oh, oh my goodness. So I he love remembers that. that that I came to his little, he used to have a little cart in the middle of the mall, and then eventually he grew up to open multiple stores and he Lovely. became a franchise for, for Boost Mobile. But he knew me since I was in middle school, he sold me my first pager. So Do when you I. have uh, a lot of diversity in, in that area? Insanely, yes. We actually we have Egyptians, we have I Indians, we have, you know, Caucasians. We we have Filipinos, we have Latinos, we have an incredibly, so incredibly, mix. incredibly diverse. I, I don't think it. you can find three people of the same race when we sit in a board or in a, or in a, so or in a, a meeting. microcosm of Los is, Angeles is, and, and the I love world it. at large. And it's I really, lovely. really love it. And one of the things that we never talk about is race. We actually talk about business. And, I focus, right on, and, I, focus, yes. and I focus a lot on that. I don't care where you're from. I don't care where you were born. What I want to know is whether I like you or not. If you're a nice person, we'll get along. If I don't like you, I don't care if you're my brother. I still don't like you. You know, so right. it's all about personality and how we treat each other with respect. I think that's how about often it. do you have your meetings at the chambers? We have meetings and mixers monthly. Every month Every we month. have uh, we have mixers in the night and we have meetings in the mornings. So for the people who cannot attend mm -hmm. in the morning, they have a chance to to meet other members, you know, perhaps through the mixers. Excellent, excellent. So, well, uh, coming from a chamber of commerce in Century City, I felt very uh, honored to meet the president of another. Uh, Chamber of Commerce from a different part here in uh, Los Angeles and it's lovely meeting you. I would have liked to invite our president from Century City. I actually did speak to her and invite her but um, we did have a very big event yesterday yeah. so she needed some time recover. to recover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like the one you're having next yes. week which we are about to talk about and if we can show that um, pictures um, 
please. Uh, we talk about the coming event, upcoming event. And then after seeing what we're talking about, then we go ahead and ask Saul and also Vida uh, to tell us more about the upcoming event Tuesday night, this coming Tuesday, April 2nd, I would be, or Correct. Or, yes, Correct. April 2nd. Yes. Uh -huh. So I can just talk about what uh, our viewers looking at. These are some of the um, awardees that you can see. Yes. Um, and then Vida John and Saul, please tell us about how did you come up with this idea, first of all, and uh, how did you find out these people that you're going to give them an award, and what does it really mean in how we're doing it? So you can talk see. over this. Oh, oh there, there's, there you are. Looking extremely fancy. Yes, Look at her. Yes. Oh, boy. Very that, professional. That hurt. Very professional. So I believe this is about community service because chambers all are, are all about community. So this mm -hmm. is these are people that are individuals in the community that have been nominated and vetted to be receiving awards. And I'm very honored to be a part of this. So um, it's just Saul, with his genius, is putting this wonderful oh, event stop. together. It's April 2nd. The red carpet is from 5 to 6. The award ceremony and event is 6 to 8. So it's going to be a great event. We're going to have a Grammy nominees performing. We're going to have the military guard performing. We're going to have you know lots of VIPs, celebrities. You've got great sponsors. It just seems like a wonderful, wonderful event, and I'm honored to be a part of it and uh, honored to get more of a active with the community. I've got to stress that Saul really does so much. Not only is it just a chamber, but they also lease very affordable office space. Wow. And they just do so much for the community, and That's he's always excellent. putting people together. It's like, I don't know how you do it when you take a respite for yourself. He's, oh, oh you <laughs> should meet this person, or this would be a you know, great person for you to know. So he's a great you know, bridge builder, and he's a great, you know, with community, he, you, you just excel at How putting people together. How long have you been working on this upcoming event? So? Okay, I'm going to make sure that you get the check after all that. Ah, there's no check! There's no, no check! No, no, absolutely. No, Thank you so much for all the kind words. And yeah, I mean, it all started back again to the chamber. A lot of people really have supported us insanely. So we only been around for three years, like I said. And um, last year, one of the owners of one of the buildings, which is Orlando, where we are now, he said, hey, so you know what? I got this, this large, large space in my building that we use as a storage. And it's been 10 years that we haven't used it. That whole space is huge. And he just used it for boxes and just there. He's like, but I would like to you know, help out the chamber. If you want to, you guys probably would like to move in and I'll give you a pretty good deal on the space. So he brought me into the building. We took a look and we loved the place. We really thought it was amazing. So it was really crazy to say that we only been around for three years and in our second years, we opened a whole business center for the chamber. By the way, we're not a nonprofit. So we actually are, you know, funded by the same members and by the same people within the chamber. They actually, you know, they pays for the bills and for the rent and absolutely everything. So we're proud of that too. So we opened a whole business center. And because we opened a business center, uh, Senator Bob Hertzberg was kind enough to give us our own date in the state of California. Wow. So he showed up with that resolution, you know, That's to super. say congratulations, and that made it even bigger. So we felt like, okay, this really gotta work. Now we got actually somebody saying, you guys have done a great job. We have no excuse. We have to make it work one way or the other. That's and right. for like six or seven months, we couldn't get a single tenant to move in. So we were sweating like, what's going on? And then we realized it was actually the season, but there's a season. And within the same month, we had 27 people interested in actually moving wow. in. So it is, there's a specific time that they feel like going and chase, you know, for spaces. But we had like 27 people actually interested and we end up actually, we only have one space left at this point actually to, to be rented. So we're really happy about that. And the idea of this center was for people to be able to find a place where they can find the answers about anything they need related to their business. Whether it's marketing, whether it's law, whether it's accounting, whether it's anything. We have an accountant, we have lawyers, we have Perfect. different people that can actually support your business when they come in. They have a one shop solution type of place. That's that was that was the whole idea. So anyhow, this uh, event that we're, we're talking about, it was originally the whole idea is our celebration of our third anniversary and the first anniversary of the business center. And it's to thank and congratulate the people that had helped us 
to make this happen, to actually exist and to celebrate the first year that is going to be the, the, uh, the anniversary of the uh, Panama City Chamber of Commerce Day. So it's our first anniversary. It was supposed to be something pretty small every year. We do have awards or monies and it was supposed to be something pretty small. Mm -hmm. But then I end up somehow convincing Vida to help me and now it's a oh. monster. And now it's like it's going to grow. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. now it's going to yeah. be something uh, much larger than we How expected. many people are you expecting for the well, well, the place can fit up to 500 people. So oh my goodness. We yeah. If we can get 500 people, we'll be happy. If we can get 200, we'll be happy anyhow. Tell me, but I the also place heard actually, that there are some dignitaries are expected to We always uh, have a couple of dignitaries. We have a couple public. of celebrities thanks to, to Vida. The and event. Joe Williamson. Let's thank Joe Williamson, too. Thank you, thank Mr. You, Williamson. Joe Feel Williamson. better, Joe. Feel better, You're, Joe. You're being missed here today. Yes, yes. And, and by the way, the event is open and free to the public, so they don't have to pay. So they're more than welcome to attend anybody who would like to show up. And uh, the owner of the place also uh, is a very nice place. And Platinum normally, Banquet Hall. Normally they charge between forty up to $70,000 to use the location. Wow. But because it's the chamber, they're nice enough to give it to us for free, so we don't pay either. So that's why we are able to actually pass on that to the people who really don't have a lot of expenses. One of the things that people like about our chamber is that we would ask you for what we need, not for money. If I need water, I'll say, can we have a case of water? You know, if right, we need right. the building, we'll let you we'll let you know and they'll let us borrow the building. So uh, we have a lot of sponsors that they've been kind enough. And the only reason why I bring that up is to say thank you really to the people who, you of know, course, come together helped. and make it into a community. Also then through the fact that I, we uh, we start working with Vida, she said, hey, so you know what? I got a couple of people that actually have done great things in the community. They actually oh. gone above and beyond. Is there any way that we can add them to your list? And I say, absolutely. You know, anybody who's making a difference in the Valley, Anybody, even if it's not my own community, if, even if it's not direct, but if you're doing something within your own community, someone should come along and say thank you for your service, thank you for what you're doing, thank you for helping out other people. I think it should be something universal, and this is the first year, so I, I, at front I apologize, don't expect the Oscars or the Grammys, but we believe <laughs> actually we could actually do something it's as very, large very and as... It's very nice as what you're doing, you're being completely humbled about it, but it's very nice of you, and I hope these kind of behaviors become contagious yes. with other people. <laughs> to learn, yes. and you're a great role model. It's, I mean, I'm really saying it from the bottom of my heart, it's very important to encourage other people who do something good for the community so that they would continue doing that not that anybody ever expect necessarily to be uh, given an award or be given thank you because we either do something because we have the love and passion for it <coughs> or we exactly. don't but nonetheless it's always good to be reminded and to be thankful to people who set a good example in our community for people in the community and people like Saul who already talks about what he has done, what he has accomplished, and also because he's done plenty to be where he is, he appreciates other people who are also giving and being good for their community, which is why really he's putting this great event uh, with the help of Vida and uh, Joe Olmson from his company, management company. And uh, you know, everyone is helping out. And uh, tell us about the awardees now. I see a lot of uh, names in the list. Yes, it's very exciting. I don't know where to start, but uh, first of all, I get, well, I don't want to say first of all, because everybody's so outstanding. You are one of the uh, oh my awardees. Goodness. I had no idea, uh, by the way. I just oh, really? was told that I'm an awardee. I just thought I'm supposed to be there. And oh, I didn't know. I thought you knew well, all along. Because I'm always very knew. cool about all these things. I just didn't. They did tell me something, but uh, I guess Joe I'm told you about the nomination. Something. I just did. I just thought something is happening, and I'm supposed to be there to see <laughs> what's going on. And then I'm told, no, I, I'm one of the awardees, and I'm like, okay, that would be even cooler. <laughs> so yeah, why not? great. Thank you. So I must thank you both. And oh, Joe our both. absolute pleasure. No, 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 pleasure. no. There's no. I, I, I don't I mean. think that you can say thank you because it's your work. It's what you've done. Yes. And it's the, that's sure. what's being recognized. So it's kind of awkward and kind of weird to say thank you for the work that I did. You know, you oh. don't really say that. It's something that you've done. And you do so much, especially that a holiday toy drive is incredible incredible so you know i tip my hat to you, oh, thank you. Uh, oh we gotta work on christmas thank like, this yeah. year yes, we actually do we do a we do a christmas here. concert toy giveaway wish granting and concert in our community oh, and we're connected with uh kimberly moore if you ever have an opportunity yes have you ever heard of kimberly moore i have heard but i don't know that she's amazing person. she delivers yes, to she delivers person. toys in seven different countries good for her wow that's what amazing. an incredible that's lady amazing. we'd love huge. to meet with her and yes yeah. i only do it for the mattel children's hospital 
every year uh, oh. or uh, Christmas. No, she does it um, at country level and she delivers the her. toys on at each door. Oh, she wow. literally goes yes. door by door and delivers the toys for the kids herself. Her. Lovely, lovely. That's lovely. So now so it's like a merging of the of Century City and Panorama City. Yay! Yay! Century yes, City in the course. house. Of so course. we have Susie, the lovely Susie June. We have Laura T. Sharp. She's an incredible woman. She's a philanthropist, a humanitarian. Uh, she just got her MBA at Pepperdine. Oh, She's wow. an incredible woman. She's a trauma survivor herself, and she created Artists for Trauma. I'm one of the ambassadors. And it's arts therapy for trauma survivors. She has a lot of actors that are a part of it. She has, you know, of course, her trauma survivors. And she's just an incredible woman. You know, she was, um, she fell from a plane. Her husband, I believe, I don't know if I'm saying the story completely correctly, but her husband was in their boat in the marina. He saw the plane crashing. Oh she goodness. escaped, you know, with the jaws of life. You know, she had wow. burns on her body. She was in a wheelchair wow. for over a year. She's a stunning person on the inside and outside, but you can't tell that she's been through what she's been through. Good she looks like her. Michelle Pfeiffer. And, you know, instead of, like, you know, being a blonde lady who looks like Michelle Pfeiffer, she created this wonderful uh, nonprofit, Artist for Trauma, and she personally picks up many of the trauma survivors, takes them to their arts therapy appointments oh, that nice. she created wow. with you know local artists and residents, and we've done amazing events together, to, you know, to bring awareness to her cause. Uh, a friend of mine who's a, uh, on the board of SAG, his name is Ford Austin, he's a trauma survivor. He introduced me to Laura. Laura is an amazing human being, never complains, um, is very able-bodied now, but she just does so much for others, so she's one of the awardees. Another one of the awardees is um, Donna Lee Heising, who's a very noted actress, Samurai Cop 2, Deadly Vengeance, Robo Woman. I've worked with her. She's incredible. And she's done a lot with the American Heart Association nice. and just lots of other community-related work that she's done. We also have the amazing filmmaker Dustin Ferguson. Oh, yes. We yes, who've been on the show. Yes, 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 from Meat Hook Massacre franchise. And I've worked with Dustin. I've had the honor of working with him on Robo Woman. He's very prolific. He's directed over 60 feature films. And he's created a wonderful group for women in horror called uh, Wicked Women. And he's a very philanthropic with that. And it's all about community outreach and just to bring more attention to women. And I think it's so cool that he's doing this because he's very successful in horror and he's helping out women. I mean, I don't know when he has time of the day to do it, but he does. <laughs> and he does lots Good of boy. community outreach with that as well. And geez, we have so many uh, wonderful awardees. Let's see who else we have. We have the lovely Amber Lynn. She's the uh, number one rated uh, talk show on LA Talk Radio, Rock and Sexy You, which I'm a guest co-host on that as well. Yes, from time I, to time. yes I hear you. Yes, That's the lovely Amber. Show. She's very active with animal rights charities. Um, she'll even help place animals in homes like dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. She's always on the lookout for that. She's also the uh, red carpet hostess for um, the Rock Against MS. She's very active in you know, helping find cures for MS, so she's active in that charity. Wonderful. She's also a SAG after actress, star of Who's Jenna. So she's just incredible, and she's one of the awardees. Just a great, great group of people, and I'm honored to be one of the awardees as well. Absolutely. So, Ida June, uh, who doesn't you. want to talk about herself. Thank she's you. always being so humble, but she's done plenty at her young age. She's been Thank everywhere, you. done a lot, uh, from journalism to red carpets, uh, becoming an actress, being with, you know, great filmmakers and on different shows and films and TVs and you name it, the list Thank goes you. on. you. You know. And more so, she has a great personality because like Saul says. And voice. Uh, and oh, a, yes, you. and a voice. Thank you. Thank and you. also, the most important, as we keep mentioning and reminding and emphasizing, is no matter who you really are, uh, what degree you have, what position you have, the most important thing I believe, and it looks like Saul believes, and also Vida Jun believes, is who you really are as a person and as a human being. Um, and um, that's what always stays in people's mind, because other things come and go, but it's exactly. your personality, is who you are that people will always remember. And Vida has one of those personalities, oh, thank you. amongst other things You're she does. You're such a and doll. You're so is. amazing. But I just want to say that uh, I've noticed something, and a lot of the charities I work with, I mean, I love Artists for Trauma. Uh, I'm doing a, a body positivity fashion show this weekend that's called Love Your Body. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing lots of things, but I noticed that the things that I do, I want to do more for the Valley, so I'm hoping that, you know, 
correlating with Saul here, I'll do more of that because I've done stuff with the Midnight Mission. I volunteered there, 826LA. I've tutored there, but I want to find more valley-oriented stuff because I'm a valley resident and because it's much more convenient for me <laughs> than to go all the way to downtown or Boyle Heights That's or all the true. places. Well, it I've makes been, sense to yeah be to part work of in my own community. community. So yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. So that's so. something I've learned from you. So I want to do more with the valley. That's Yay. excellent. Yeah, we have yeah. it in the valley now. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Well. Um, I would switch to Farsi, if you don't mind, just no, no, quickly no, to recap what we talked sure, sure, about, sure. because we're getting towards the last part of a uh, few minutes of the show. دوست دارم اینجا یادآور بشم که دلیل دعوت مهمانان امروز من به برنامه آرویو به خاطر کارهایی هست که برای اجتماعمون، اجتماع کوچکترمون حالا از خانواده بریم به شهر و محلی که درش زندگی میکنیم صحبت میکنیم و اهمیت اینی که بتونیم و یاد بگیریم که جزئی از این کامیونیتی باشیم حالا اگر که این میتونه اتاق بازرگانی یا همون چمبر اف کامرس باشه اگر که دوست داریم عضو روتری باشیم به هر شکلی بتونیم خودمون رو با اجتماعی که در زندگی میکنیم نزدیک بکنیم به نظر من میتونه یک راهی برای رسیدن به موفقیت نه منظورم از جهت مسائل مالی اصلا نیست فقط از این جهتی که بتونیم یه آدم مسمر سمری واقع بشیم برای اون اجتماعی که درش داریم زندگی میکنیم اون محلی که درش هستیم به قول بیدا جون که الان گفت که در ولی زندگی میکنه اینا همه باعث میشه که آدم در اون جایی که زندگی میکنه بتونه با دیگر افرادی که اونجا زندگی میکنن صاحب مشاغل هستن کار میکنن شنو بشه که همه به هم بتونیم دست یاری بدیم و بتونیم واقعا بهتر پیش بریم اگر مشکلاتی داریم با آشنا شدن با دیگران مشکلاتمون راحت تر حل بشه اگر میتونیم کاری برای کسی انجام بدیم بتونیم انجام بدیم و واقعا دلیل دعوت من از این نوع افراد در کارهای اجتماعی در شهرمون واقعا فقط همین هست وگرنه مهمان امروز من که غیر ایرانی هستن واقعا دلیلی بر این که بخوان در تلویزیون ایرانی حضور به هم برسونن ندارن جز اینی که من ازشون خواهش کردم اینجا باشن فقط به خاطر اهمیت موضوع به خاطر اینکه خود من خیلی سعی میکنم در اجتماعی که زندگی میکنم فعال باشم در کنار افرادی باشم که در اون اجتماع زندگی میکنن در همه مشاغل مختلف فرقی نمیکنه و به این شکل بدونم چه خبر هست آیا من میتونم کاری بر اونها انجام بدم و آیا اونها کاری هست که من میتونم براشون انجام بدم یا فرقی نمیکنه در حال با خبر بودن و در کنار هم بودن هست که میتونه مهم باشه و در شهری که درش زندگی میکنیم چمبر اف کامرس هم یکی از اونها هست که در محل های مختلف شما میتونید عضوش بشید چه بهتر که در همون جا باشید که راحت تر بتونید به مسائل بپردازید من خودم عضو سنچری سیتی هستم و ویدا جون تو ولی هست این چمبر اف کامرس که صحبت داریم راجعش میکنیم که ساول پرزیدنتش هست به هر حال همه رو میتونید عوض بشید فرقی هم نمیکنه فقط اهمیت موضوع هست که مهم هست ولی در هر حال چون یک برنامه هم در پیش رو دارن که به قول ایرانی ها فرش قرمز هست یا به قول آمریکایی ها رد کارپت ایونت هست که باز هم در این برنامه همینطور که ویدا که خیلی هم زحمت کشیده در این رابطه و کمک کرده افرادی رو معرفی کرده به برنامه این هفته که داره پیش میاد واقعا افرادی رو سعی کردن انتخاب بکنن که این افراد برای کامیونیتی شون جامعه شون آسیناشون رو بالا زدن کارهای مسمر سمری انجام دادن حالا هر کس به اون علاقه ای که داره یکی برای بچه ها کاری کرده یکی برای افرادی که هنر پیشن مشکلات بدنی پیدا کردن به دلائلی مریض شدن حالا هر جوری که بوده یکی به حیوانات کمک میکنه به هر حال افرادی که بدون هیچ نوع چشم داشتی برای عشق و پشنی که دارن کار کردن و در این برنامه حضور خواهند داشت که بهشون یک به حال رسیدگی بشه ازشون تشکری بشه اواردی بهشون داده بشه و ازشون به قول ما ایرانی ها قدردانی بشه امیدوارم که برنامه امروز مورد پسندتون واقع شده باشه و در حقیقت هدف اصلی من که اون اطلاع رسانی هست رو در این برنامه به شما داده باشم و خارج از حوصله شما نبوده باشه برای همین هم مقدار دارم فارسی حرف میزنم برای اون دسته ای که احیانا ترجیحاً دوست دارن که به فارسی برنامه ها رو گوش بکنید ممنونتون و سپاسگزارتون هستم که همیشه از طریق ایمیل و تلفن و سوشال میدیا با من در تماس هستید نظریات شما برای من بسیار قابل احترام هست و سعی می کنم که گوش کنم و مهمانانی رو هم که دوست دارید من به برنامه ها دعوت کنم با کمال میل میپذیرم و ازشون در سال جدید دعوت خواهم کرد که در کنار ما و در برنامه آرویو با ما همراه باشن در پایان 
باز برمیگردم به زبان انگلیسی که از مهمانانمون تشکر و قدردانی بکنم به خاطر حضورشون در برنامه و شما عزیزان رو هم به خدای بزرگ میسپارم ممنونم از توجه همیشگیتون یک بار دیگه هم سال نو ایرانی رو نوروز رو تبریک و تهنیه درز میکنم امیدوارم این مسائلی هم که در کشورمون در چند روز اخیر پیش آمده این سیل وحشتناک این آب و هوای ناجور که البته در خیلی جاهای دنیا اتفاق میافته دیگه اینها قهر طبیعت هست به نوعی ولی به هر حال بهش رسیدگی بشه در مملکت و واقعا در این روزهای آغاز بهاری انقدر واقعا غم و اندوه رو برای هموطنان ما به بار نیاره با آرزوی سلامتی دل خوش برای همه شما عزیزان تک تکتون که دوستتون دارم در هر کجای دنیا که زندگی میکنید براتون آرزوی سلامتی دلی خوش دارم ویدا جان few more minutes to the end of the show Sure. Uh, whatever I left out, please. Oh, sure. Help I, you me know, out. I, d- I didn't know if I would get a chance to say this, but um, you know, I'm just thinking of the victims in, in northern Iran right now. So, you know, we were immediately on the phone to see if you know friends and family were okay. So, my heart goes out to them. I, I really hope that with this trauma, we're talking about building bridges. Maybe some bridge can be built there. Absolutely. You know, for for all the people. Uh, you know, physically and you know. technically and physically and literally mm-hmm. so um, you know my heart goes out to them um hamash be fikr shoma ha hastim umidvaram hame chi hal beshe khali mutasif shodam when i found out this news and not just you know northern iran like other parts it just it broke my heart so you know i'm i'm very sorry to hear about all that thank you for mentioning it i don't Absolutely. know if we were will to mention it and i'm so glad we did mention it Absolutely. and you know it's such an honor to be uh, to to switch gears a little it's such an honor to be a part of this esteemed event mm-hmm. and um you do so much for our community and it's it's such an honor to have you there and it's such an honor Thank to you. know you and you know both of you really inspire me so I'm you know very grateful to both of you I'm very grateful to Joe Williamson and um, I'm just excited about all this and and thanks to the Panorama City Chamber and I've got to say you've put a real life blood not just in the chamber but into the whole panorama city is like these past couple years is so different when i drive through or i have errands to run there it's just a it's a much you fostered a much stronger sense of community and you know i really admire you for that Well, give us two more years. We actually have three new shopping centers, a new Starbucks, a new Aldi's, and the DWP headquarters being built within the next two years. So I think that's going to change the whole perspective. And if I could say a couple of last words, I would just remind the people, be humble, be willing to learn, and be willing to share with other people. If you do that, anything is possible. That would be my last message to anybody who's listening. Thank you very much. It's been a total pleasure having you guys in my show today. یک بار دیگه دوست دارم همه شما عزیزان رو ازتون دعوت بکنم که محبت کنید با عزیزانی که از طریق سوشال میدیا واقعا میبینید برنامه ها رو در ایران اگر میتونید کمکی بکنید به هر سازمانی که بهش باور دارید از هر طریقی که میتونید من اسم سازمانی رو نمیبرم برای که باز میدونم شامل یک سری مسائل ممکنه بشه خدای نکرده سوء تفاهمی پیش بیاد ولی به هر طریقی اگر فامیلی در ایران دارید دوست آشنا دارید سازمان هایی هستن که مورد تاییدتون هستن واقعا زمانی الان هست که مردم ایران این مردم سیل زده که واقعا مصیبت های بسیاری رو این روزهای اخیر دارن باهاش دست و پنجه نرم میکنن رو بهشون دست یاری بدیم بهشون کمک بکنیم هموطنان ما هستن فرقی نمیکنه به هر حال همه ما انسان هستیم در هر کجای این کره خاکی که زندگی میکنیم همه انسان هستیم همه به هر حال یک بیسیکی حد اقل در زندگیمون لازم داریم که اون هم خوراک و پوشاک و سلامت و غیره هست که لاقل به یک حدی رو هممون بهش احتیاج داریم و الان با این مسائلی که متاسفانه دیگه از طریق سوشال میدیا مرتب داریم میبینیم و باش دست و پنجه نرم میکنیم من فکر میکنم این دیگه حد اقل کاری هست که ما به عنوان یک انسان حالا حتی هموطن هم نه به عنوان یک انسان در هر کجای دنیا که داریم زندگی میکنیم باید بتونیم حداقل یک کمکی حالا هر کس به هر اندازه‌ای که میتونه بازم مهم نیست ولی یک کمکی بکنیم که این هموطنانمون رو از این روزهایی که بسیار با سختی دارن دست و پنجه نرم میکنن رو نجات بدیم کمکشون کنیم که لاقل بدونن اگر که ما در کنارشون نیستیم فکرمون باهاشون همراه هست و براشون دعا میکنیم که این روزهای سخت و هر چیز زودتر به پایان برسونن به خصوص که روزهای سال نو هست و برای ما این نوروز بسیار عزیز هست و قابل احترام ما این روز به اصطلاح نو رو شروع می‌کنیم با هزار امید که به روزهای بهتر خوشتر سلامتی و خوشی همراهمون باشه خودمون و عزیزانمون واقعا من 
داغوی همتون هستم که کمک میکنید به هموطنانمون در ایران با این روزهای سختی که در پیش رو دارن که لاقل همینقدری که بدونن فکر ما هم راهشون هست و یک مقداری هر کس به نوعی که میتونه کمک بکنه مطمئنا راه دوری نمیره و اونها رو خوشحال میکنه در حال از همتون سپاس گذارم باز هم ممنون وقتتون هستم میبخشه دیگه سرتون رو درد بردم در این روزهای اول سال ولی واقعا نمیتونستم از این موضوع مهم به راحتی بگذرم تا هفته آینده و برنامه دیگر همه شما رو به خدای بزرگ میسپارم خدا نگهدار